When Paul Schreck and I visited Aaron Carter in 2012, we saw an assortment of paint guns on his wall. This was one of them. This is a early first generation Annihilator that was cut down. So the barrel was probably originally this long and it was cut down to what it is now, you know, 10 inches maybe. And Aaron and Stan Russell and some of the kamikaze shooters referred to these pistols as tidy bowls. So I've done a couple other videos covering a tidy bowl that belongs to Ted Hines. And there's another video that we did with Stan Russell that shows his tidy bowl that has a full sight rail. Jack Waters also has a full sight rail. So here is Ted Hines' tidy bowl. And here is Aaron's tidy bowl. So we can see different length barrels. Same long first generation annihilator bolt, but different length barrels. Ted's has the sight hole right here from where the sight originally was, which means it was originally this length and not cut down. Aaron's does have a hole right here, but I think it's part of the porting, which you can see goes all the way around. And that's actually what makes me believe that it was a cut down barrel. Also, if we look at the end of the barrel here, we can see it's brass, not hard chrome. So it was either re-finished right there by Aaron to get a nice smooth edge, or it was cut down. And I'm willing to bet it was cut down. We can see the interior and the exterior of the barrel are both hard chromed. It's a really, really fantastic looking finish on it. And I've asked what was the provenance of the name Tidy Bowl and they didn't really give me a straight answer, neither Aaron nor Stan Russell. And I'm not really sure, I haven't really uncovered anything else behind that name. I know that there was a toilet bowl cleaner product called Tidy Bowl. Maybe it has something to do with that. So if we look at this Tidy Bowl, we can see that it is a brass Sheridan body. It's originally a PG lower tube that has been hard chromed and then has had the South Bay Arms green finish put on the top of it. On the body, we can see it's stamped D. 00621 as the Sheridan serial number right here. And it also has porting by Aaron or someone at Carter Machine. It has the first generation long bolt, which is one of the longest Sheridan bolts. It's I think a little bit longer than even a K rifle bolt. You can see it has a quick strip notch right here for moving the bolt. If you want to have an actual playable Sheridan pistol, you have to have that quick strip notch. And we can also see it has this aluminum pump handle, which Aaron would have added probably in the 2000s, maybe even as late as 2010, but it's definitely not original. Also, this is a Sniper 2 frame, not a Sheridan frame, so that wouldn't be original. And it also has this vertical ASA, which is black anodized aluminum, it has a Tasso rat attack on here. I just stuck that on for this video. It also has sort of a unique, let's see if I can turn the pump handle here. A little hard to turn. Slide the pump handle off. We can see it actually has this valve chamber, which is steel on the end, and I think aluminum behind it. So it's actually a pressed in aluminum piece, maybe an aluminum 12 gram dummy that's actually pressed in with this. Ah, oh, it's in there super tight. It might even be Loctited. I can't get it out. But it is sort of a unique accessory. I will most likely remove the pump handle, remove the vertical ASA, and just set it up as a 12 gram pump, since that's most likely how it would have come from Aaron and Stan. Has an RVA also. Stan actually made these back in 
the late 80s. It was one of the products that he machined. It has Lapco grips. Usually these are marked W2, but these could be the WGP version. So there we go. Aaron Carter, South Bay Arms, Tidy Bowl.